Hello, race fans, and welcome to the BNL's Raceway, where today's race of the Triple Dick 310 is held today. We got a lot of fast engines today. I'm Bob Cutters with my good friend Daryl Carter, and today we are going to see the new next gen, the racers of our future, take on this new renovated track that has been made up to their standards. And Bob, you are right about that. This race should be an exciting one. These next gens usually calculate at a speed of 210. 210, that's ridiculous. But you know what else is ridiculous? The fact that Lightning McQueen is even on this track. No disrespect on his name, that is. No disrespect to Lightning's name, but the fact that he is out there is kind of ridiculous. These next gen should be able to pass him with ease. But hey, he's lightning, and he's been known for unexpected victories. And so, we'll see what happens here today. It's just going to be a fun race. It seems like the racers are ready for their pace lap. As they are ready for their pace lap, let's see who's going to be on pole. We have Jackson Storm and Daniel Suarez on row one. Row two has H.J. Hollis and Ryan Inside Laney. Ryan Inside Laney sure is a good next gen. And now row three, we have Cam Spinner and Harvey Rodkep, two new cars. And then row four, Chris Roman, along with fan favorite Cruz Ramirez. Let's hope she can move up soon. Row five, Herb Kerber and Buckle Wheelhouse Jr. And then row six, Chase Racerlot and Tim Treadless. Row seven has Sheldon Shifter and Conrad Camber. And row 8 has Dan Carcina, Spiky Phillips. And the next row has Paul Conrad and Eric Breaker. I believe these, this is actually her first time on the track. And then row 10 has Ed Trunkin and Lightning McQueen. He's all the way in the back. Just shows he didn't be good on qualifying. And row 11 rounds out Rich Mixon. Here's the race info. 10 laps around this two-mile tech circuit. 24 one cars on present on the track. And Jackson Storm is in the lead. And now let's go. Pretty fast start for Storm. That's Daryl. Seems like Jackson Storm is already having an early lead, but it shows. But the other racer, like Lance McQueen, just moved through the field a little. Jackson Storm with a very early lead. I can't believe the last one is already over. Storm with a very early lead. Cruz Ramirez is moving slightly through the field. And oh, there's a lot of cars bashing into each other. And Lance McQueen even jumps the barrier to avoid the crash. This is very unfortunate, Daryl. This ended a lot of cars in days. Here's the cars that were actually involved. Ryan and Silene, Chris Roman. Those were a lot of good cars. Let's look at the instant replay. So it shows that Ryan and Silene and Cam Spinner were right next to each other. So it looks like Ryan and Silene tried to get over. But then Cam Spinner was right there and it just caused this whole break. Chris Roman even flipped on his side. Good move by Lightning McQueen on his part, avoiding the crash and being able to move to the field slightly because of that. That gum, good thing there was three cars already to still get away from that. And the cars have been stopped at with the yellow flag during the back straightaway. The clean, it looks like the cleanup crew is actually paying. Cruz Ramirez, Tim Travis, and Chase Race Lot are still in this race. So I hope they go they have to go into pit to get some tires on. And the cleanup crew is cleaning up the cars. And we have word that the cars are ready to pit. Pretty fast pit stops from those teams. It looks like the callers are being regrouped, doing their pace laps. While they're doing their pace laps, let's cut to commercial break. Afraid to go for a drive because of a leaky tailpipe? What? I'm lightning McQueen for leak left. Welcome back with the updated race info where we start on lap 5 out of 10. 14 cars left in the race. Storm is still in first. The Lightning McQueen has moved up to 10. Now let's see who takes this home. Oh boy, Storm was a very early lead, but it looks like Lightning McQueen and Cruz Ramirez is moving through the field pretty fast. A lap 6, Lightning McQueen and Cruz has advanced through the field already. That's right, Gerald. It looks like these two racers have finally gotten their mojo and 
and they're moving through the field pretty fast. Black Sammy right with Clinton, Cruz Ramirez and advance to the top five. Contact between the Ed Trunkin and Tim Trellis, however. Cruz is on Storm's tail, and Michael Queen has jumped his way to third. Woo! It's gonna be a three-way battle for the lead, too. And it looks like, oh, Tim Trellis blows a tire and he causes a small wreck. On the instant replay, the yellow flag, he collects Eric Breaker and Rich Mixon. The caution is out. Very unfortunate for Tim Trellis and Eric Breaker, who have both avoided the crash today. Very slightly. They were involved. It looks like Tim Trellis did blow a tire, making a bad move, not going into the pits. 36, Rich Mixon took some front damage, but will be able to continue the race. Isn't that fortunate? The cleanup crew, the tow trucks that finally came and decided to pick up these two. And it seems like Rich Mixon is out of pit lane. And we are going to be restarting on the final lap. Never before. This is going to be a sprint to the finish. Let's see who takes it home. My money's on McQueen. Whoa, Daryl, we just have to see if McQueen's able to pull a move. And we're back to three, lap 10, final lap. Lane McQueen did jump into second, though, and he's on the inside of Storm. The racer's flying by. Lane McQueen, Storm, and it's Cruz Ramirez. I don't believe it. Boy, I wasn't even paying the kid attention to Cruz back there. Let's look at the instant replay, Bob. Cruz Ramirez pulls a wall maneuver to pass Storm and Lightning at the last second. Simply amazing, Bob. That was one sure heck of a win on Cruz Ramirez's part. And she is on the podium, celebrating her win at the PL Speedway. She did come first, and Storm did come second. He just looks plain frustrated, Bob. And third place, Lightning McQueen. Very surprising. And H.J. Holis in fourth. Daniel Suarez is upset about his fifth place finish when he should have had four. And Dan Garcia in six. Seventh, Spikey Phillips. And ninth, I mean eighth, Paul Conrad. And ninth, Ed Trunkin. And tenth place, Conrad Camber of Shiny Wax. And the last two, 11th, Chase Race a lot. And 12th, Rich Mix. Hello race fans and welcome to Smasherville International Speedway where today's competition of speed will be held here today. Oh boy Bob, today is surely going to be a grueling race. Today's competition won't know what's coming. I'm Bob Coles and he's Daryl Cartrip and you are right about that one Daryl. Some of this competition is surely not going to expect what this track has in store for them today. Now, nah, wait a minute, Bob. You're forgetting something here. There's a lot of cars that know their way around tracks. Some with special heritages of racing. And some that's been here for a while. And some who is just naturally gifted at this. Right about that, Daryl. Again, there's a lot of races to look out for. And we should go over to some of them so the fans should know. The first one we have Bobby Swift, his top speed is 193 miles per hour and won two out of three exhibition races held here. Now we got the bad boy of the circuit, Chick Hicks. He's known for causing wrecks and he held the speed record here for a long time, three years in fact. We have Cal Weathers, top speed of 195, and he's related to the great king himself. We got Lightning McQueen. His rival Chick is here today, so he'll surely have the power to win. And Daryl, it seems like the cars are ready to start their pace laps before the race. While they're doing that, let's get down to the competition today. In row 1, we have Rep Meeker and Davey Apex leading the race. Row two, we have Rev Rodages and Ink and Axler. In row three, we have Cal Weathers and Greg Candyman. In row four, Tommy Highbanks and Murray Clutchburn. In row five, we have Darren Ledfoot and Bobby Swift. Row six, Ruby Easy Oaks and Bruce Miller. Row seven, Brick Yardley and Todd Marcus. And in row 8, Chick Hicks and Dirks and Diagostino. And rounding it out is in row 9 is Lightning McQueen and Brian Sparks.
Here's the race info. A 10 lap race, 18 cars are present today and a one and a half mile speedway. And today is surely gonna be a grueling one. And the green flag is out. Red Meeker beating Davey Apex to the first turn and is now leading the race. The cars are shuffling behind them and it's already lap two. Ooh, rough riding from Ruby Easy Oaks. He's surely going to lose some position to gain. Boy, Bob, you can notice positions are changing fast here. Lightning McQueen and Chick Hicks are battling each other to see who will be able to get to the front first. Racing down the back straightaway into turn three. Cal Weathers has taken first from Rep Meeker. Chick goes in for a hit. McQueen dodges it. And Chick causes a right ramming into Rep Meeker. Cars piling in behind. Bob, I'm surprised. I was expecting way more cars to get out, but it only seemed like two were able to survive. Let's take a look at the instant replay. You can see McQueen went into the inside of Chick Hicks, but Chick was not having any of that. Went in for a hit, but McQueen dodges it before he can get it. But Chick didn't give up so easily and went in for another hit. But instead, he sideswipes Rep Meeker, causing him to spin out, hitting Tommy Highbanks, and it had to be on one of the most toughest parts of the track to get through cars ramming in brian sparks breaking for his life drifting through aiken axler gets slightly taken out bobby swift nearly gets taken out by rev rodages and it seems like cars were able to make a lineup but murray clutchburn did not get to be part of that lineup murray takes out todd marcus along with ruby easy oaks and dirksen de castino is taken out by it the caution flag is out thankfully i'm surprised it's not a red flag I have word the cleanup crew has rushed to the scene to get the cars off the track as soon as possible, probably taking some to hospital. And some good news, the cars are now ready to pit. Fast pit stops by those teams, and it looks like the cars are being regrouped. As they're doing their pace laps for the next half of the race, let's go to commercial. Have you ever been in a need of a sweet sensation? Well, it sounds like you need Taco Mint. That's right. If you want some of that delectable goodness in your mouth, you're going to need to call today at 186-TACO Mint for $12.99. And don't forget to watch the Piston Cup where our own racer, Greg Candyman, will be racing today. And we are back with the updated race info. We're restarting on lap 8 out of 10. 10 cars remain and Chick is starting in first and McQueen is in fifth. And the cars seem like they're ready to start the race and it's green flag. Oh boy, Chick already takes the lead but Brick Yardley and McQueen goes to the inside to take that spot from Greg Candyman. Cars shuffling around, Bobby Swift and Cal Weathers go to Greg's outside and we're on lap 9 out of 10. Chick is desperately holding on to that lead but McQueen gets to his inside and it looks like McQueen's posse passes Chick and now we're on the final lap. Let's see who wins this. Oh, it looks like McQueen's in the lead but Brick Yardley goes to his inside but McQueen blocks him off before he can pass him. No one's passing McQueen and the winner is Lightning McQueen. Simply fantastic on McQueen's part, but I wonder what happened to Chick back there. Only one way to find out, Bob. It's rewind time. As you can see, once McQueen passed Chick, Bo Brick, Bobby, and Kel saw it was their chance to make a move on Chick and get past him without being rammed off the road. And once that was done, it was all game over. But Brick did put a grueling challenge against McQueen. But here is Lightning McQueen celebrating in pit lane right now on his victory. His friends cheering him on and the crowd goes wild. Here's the finishing results. First place is Lightning McQueen. Second is Brick Yardley. Third place is Cal Weathers. And fourth place, Bobby Swift. Fifth place, Chick Hicks along with Brian Sparks in sixth. Seventh, Bruce Miller and eighth, Taco Mint's Greg Candyman. And ninth, Ruby Easy Oaks and 10th Ankin Axler. And here's all the cars that DNF. It's very unfortunate that none of them got to finish this awesome race.
Hello race fans and welcome to Tokyo Japan where the race of our World Grand Prix is being held here today. I'm Bob Cutlass and he's my good friend Daryl Cartrip and today will be an extraordinary race because we are holding the World Grand Prix. This is exciting. Daryl, you have anything to say about the competition? Oh boy, Bob, I do have a few words to say. You can tell this race is going to be an exciting one. We can see that the track has very twists and turns where the race is with the challenge. And look at the beautiful scenery that we call the Rainbow Gate Bridge. And we see a bunch of cars around just getting ready for this race to happen. Statues everywhere. Oh, Daryl, don't forget the lineup of cars we have today. We have cars all over the country, varying from Russia to Spain themselves. Cars all over the world, champions of the world, here to have a second rematch here of Tokyo, Japan, since the first World Grand Prix didn't go so well. Uh, Bob, I think you should have mentioned the first World Grand Prix. People seem not to really like it that much. But back to the competition, a lot of various cars here, but let's take a look at the racers that have a big chance of winning today. Francesco Bernoulli is the fastest racer on the circuit with 220 miles per hour of speed. Up we have Miguel Camino with a top speed at 200 miles per hour and the champion of the Grand and Touring Sport. With Carla Veloso, top speed at 206 miles per hour and she's the only female racer of the circuit. Next up we have Francis Raul Saru of GRC. He's counting on a big boost during the dirt obstacle and he's the slowest car in the field. Last and not surely not least is Lightning McQueen with a top speed of 200 miles per hour and rarely crashes in any race he's in. For oh, Daryl, it seems like the cars are now ready to do their pace laps. As they're doing that, let's cut to the competition. Row 1, we have Raul Saru and Shu to the rookie. Row 2, Max Chanel of Germany, Rip Klinchkowski. Row 3, Lewis Hamilton and Miguel Camino, one of our racers to look out for. Row 4, Jeff Gourvet and Nigel Gearsley. And in row 5, we have Lightning McQueen and Francesco Bernoulli, two racetrack rivals that we're going to see the show today. And rounding it out in row 6 is Carlo Veloso and Vitaly Petro. And here's the racetrack info. The track obstacle is varied from asphalt and dirt. It's a three lap race and a 5.1 mile circuit. Now let's get to the starting line. Three, two, one, go! And it's green flag. The racers are already shuffling through, through the first two turns. And now they're already heading into the first obstacle, the dirt. Oh, and it looks like shoots to the rookie, loses balances, and loses his first place. Boy, and it seems like Max Chanel have a very early lead, and Lightning McQueen's already in second. Francesco Bernoulli has a lot of ground to make up, and we're already on lap two out of three. When it looks like Max Chanel's lean goes back into the dirt, Lightning McQueen might have a chance to pass him here, and McQueen takes the lead with one big move. Oh, and Lewis Hamilton blows the tire and takes on Nigel Gearley and Rip Punch Gown. Man, it seems like every race we announce just has a crash. I don't believe it. This is all unfortunate. These racers had good chances of winning today, even though we didn't talk about them. Uh, but let's look at the instant replay. Lewis Hamilton blows a tire. It goes into the wall. Hard hit. Takes out Nigel Gearsley. Rip Punch counts. He gets bounced along. And Carla Veloso dodges it. Well, in some good news, the cars were stopped. Only four of them made it past the crash. And it seems like the cleanup crew has finally arrived. Thank goodness we have them on site. And now the racers that were stuck behind the crash is now able to get through to Pat Traxxas where she's going to lead them into their pace laps for the next last lap of the race. Now let's cut to commercial. Are you bored of the area you're living in? Want to see new places? Do you like British accents? Well, it sounds like you need to go to England where we have Big Bentley, Buckingham Palace, and also some random castle. And make sure to watch the World Grand Prix while you're visiting London, England to support Nigel Gearsley.
And we are back with the update race info. We are on the last lap, and there's only nine cars left. And Light McQueen and Francesco Bernoulli is starting off very close to each other. And now let's cut to the green flag. And they're off. Ooh, and Light McQueen was very early, but Francesco was very close behind him. Positions have finally segwayed through, and they're back in the dirt. McQueen, and this is McQueen's chance to take the lead. And Francesco falls back. It's going to be Light and McQueen. I can just tell. The analytics are already saying McQueen's going to win. Oh, no. He blows the tire and takes out Francesco Bernoulli. And it's a final finish. I don't believe it. It's too close to call. And unfortunately, Latin McQueen ended him and Francesco Bernoulli's today by blowing that tire. All his friends came to go see him. This is just horrible. It seems like because of that blown tire in the instant replay, it ended him and Francesco's day because how Francesco was so close to him, it, that wasn't a good move. And he just took out him and Francesco. But let's look past that and it looks like the race officials are going to say who finally won the race. And the winner is Max Chanel, winning by a whole fender. Oh boy, this was sure an exciting race. Max Chanel wins by a very close call. I can tell Carla Veloso and her team is very upset. Let's get to the finishing results. First is Max Chanel and Carla Veloso by so close. Carla Veloso had it by just a little bit. Third is shoot to the rookie and fourth place Raul Sarul. I bet y'all didn't expect Raul to get fourth. And now in fifth place, Jeff Corvette and sixth, Vitaly Petro. Vitaly sure did do very good during this race. And rounding it out in seventh is Miguel Camino. Here's all the racers that did not finish the race. Surprising that Lightning McQueen and Francesco are on here, but that's unfortunate. Hello race fans and welcome to the XRS special race event where today's Halloween special will be taking place at in Pumpkin Hill. Oh boy Bob, today is going to be an exciting one. I'm Bob Cutlass and he's Daryl Carter and looking at the speedway right now we can tell that today's going to be a fantastic race because look at all these twists and turns you will not believe it and this is an all dirt track too so you know you're, we're going to see many racers drift throughout the track today. Look at all these racers getting ready in pit lane you can notice many sponsors are excited to be here this, this is definitely looking good we got veterans and next gens on the same circuit many racers are coming out today but let's get into the races we need to look out for Cruz Ramirez a champion of one of the races held earlier this year Lightning McQueen an another champion held this year and also is a dirt track master and Jackson Storm is looking to get his first win so he can be in a special event coming up soon and it looks like the cars are now ready for those pace laps as they're doing that let's get into the pace laps in row one, we have Barry DePedal and Cruz Ramirez. Expect to see Cruz take the lead early. And in row two, Cal Weathers and Dino Drafty. Heading out row three is Lightning McQueen and Juice Drive Wheel. And now in uh, row four, Steve Slick, LePage, and TG Castlenut. And then the final row, Jackson Storm and Speedy Comet. Just show Storm didn't do well in the qualifying. And here's the racing for an all mud track. Cruz is starting off in second, a 2.2 mile race track, and five laps in the rain earlier today. And it looks like the cars are now at the starting line. Two, one, go! And it looks like green flag is off. We already see Barry the pedal to Cruz's inside and takes the lead early. And they're already drifting on the big turn. And it looks like Barry is going to lead them into lap two pretty soon. Woo! And lap two is now underway, folks. Cruz goes to Barry's inside. But Barry did not block her. And now Cruz is in the lead. But Jackson Storm and Lane McQueen's on her way. So she's going to have some competition too. McQueen is now in second. Cruz is driving ahead. But she's pinned out. Takes out Barry the pedal. And everyone avoids the crash except for 
were buried to pedal and cruise room is the two front runners of the competition and everyone has been stopped up front and now with the yellow flag this is just horrible you can say that again daryl but let's look at the instant replay to show what further happens the cruise room is tries to go in for a drift but she spins out causing barry to pedal to run right into her she almost takes out cal weathers but leakless and cal weathers was able to avoid now, the cleanup crew has finally arrived. Thank goodness we have them on site, as always. Look, um, it looks like uh, our own security officer, Marlon's down there, and it looks like the cars are now ready to pit. Fast pit stops by those teams, but while they're doing that, let's cut to commercial. Welcome back, race fans, to the new updated race info. We are restarting on the last lap. Storm and McQueen are very close, and this should lead to some good racing and tension between the drivers right now. And it looks like the final lap is out. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Sorry for stealing your line, Gerald, but let's go racing. Cars are entering the last few turns. It looks like it's going to be Storm, but Steve, Steve, oh my gosh, Steve Slick with Paige. Oh my goodness, I do not believe it. Steve Slick with Paige wins by... Famous move. Let's look at the incident replay, folks. As we can see, Steve Slick with Page does a whole turn, the whole 180 to take the lead, and he wins the race. Oh my goodness! He's now the second official next gen to beat Jackson Storm and Lightning McQueen. Oh my goodness! And now the winner is Steve Slick with Page. Oh my goodness gracious. On the finishing results, Steve Slick with Page, but just clock it up for him and Dino Krasky. Uh, next row, third place, Jackson Storm and Lightning McQueen. Very close. And then fifth, Cal Weathers. Sixth, and the Speedy Comet. I cannot get over the fact that Steve won like that. And seventh, TG Calcina. And eighth, Juice Drive Well, and all DNF, Cruz Ramirez, and Barry DePoe. Hello race fans and welcome to the Motor Speedway of the South where the Dynaco 400 will be held here today. I'm Bob Cutlass and he's Daryl Cartrip and today will surely be a great one. Well, you're sure about that one Bob. These racers are very skilled and have been racing since 1975 to up to present day of 2005. As we go by, we can see the racers getting ready right now. Pities are working hard to ensure their racers won't crash, but it's only futile knowing that a certain racer, number 86, is present on the track today. You're right about that one, Bob. Number 86 has caused so many crashes that we don't even know how he's still welcomed into the racing league. But let's look at the racers to look out for today. First up, we have Shrek the King Weathers. A 1979 Plymouth Superbird with the top speed of 200 miles per hour. Chick Hicks, top speed of 201 miles per hour. Name the bad boy. Lightning McQueen, a custom built Piston Cup racer. And next up, Winford Bradford Rutherford at a Capital Motors Verve XT. And we're getting the heads up that the cars are now ready to start the pace laps. 
as they're doing that, let's get down to today's racers. Row one, we have number 58, Billy Oil Changer, and number eight, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Row two comes along with Ryan Shields and Davey Apex. In row three, probably the two most favored cars of today's race, Trip the King Weathers and Lightning McQueen. And coming up in row four, Chuck Armstrong and Dirks and Diagostino. Row five, Greg Candyman and James Cleaner. Row six, we have Winford Rutherford and Chick Hicks. The two of the racers to look out for with high skill. With the row seven, Ankin Axler and Darren Leadfoot, Nitrate and Shiny Wax. Row eight. Manny Flywheel and Kevin Schiffright. And with the last row, row number nine, Todd Marcus and Ruby Easy Oaks. And here's the race info a 10 lap race, a 0.533 mile speedway. 18 racers are present today, and a lot of fan favorites are starting close to each other. And it looks like they're heading to the grid right now. Three, two, one, go! And we are off. Billy Oil Changer to Dale's Insight. Ryan Shields doing the same. And this is expected for races like this starting off. Ooh, Winford slides up a little. But Strip the King Weathers and Lightning McQueen is going to try to lead us into the next lap. Oh boy, coming down the back stretch. These cars are all flying by. It looks like Chick Hicks is moving through the field to catch up to the three racers in the lead right now. Ooh, Chick bumps into McQueen. And it looks like, oh, Chick slams Billy Oil Changer. Dale goes over. Oh, my goodness. This is really bad. This is really bad. James Cleaner crashes into the pit lane border wall. And this is simply just horrible, Bob, today. Let's look. Oh, man. So many cars are involved. Dale and her Jr. and Billy Oil Changer have been taken out early, even though they were the front runners, along with Chuck Armstrong, Dirks, and Diagostino. This is all so bad and then James Cleaner was so close of getting out of here but he ran into the pit lane wall right now let's look at the instant replay Chick slams Billy and Billy flips Dale gets collected Dirksen Apex goes through there and then Chuck went through there and then uh Ch James tire must have blown out a little and cars retreated into pit lane if they couldn't make it and the caution has been pulled out right now. Racers stopped in both areas, pit lane and the front stretch. But in some good news, the cleanup crew has finally arrived. Thank goodness. And in some uh, unfortunate news, the number eight of Dale Earnhardt Jr. is being taken out. I know many of you were rooting for him, but in some other good news, the cars are now ready to pit. Fast pit stops by those teams, and it looks like we have a radio conversation between Team 95. Doc, I'm not going into the pits. We're having a good lead as we speak. 10-4, kiddo. Remember, stay close to the inside and stay away from Chick. They look like they know what they're doing with that good strategy, but let's go to commercial. Yes, yes, yes. Lightning McQueen here, and I use Rusty's medicated bump ointment, new rear end formula. Nothing sues a rusty bumper like Rusty's. Wow, look at that shine. Use Rusty's, and you too can look like me. Cut chow! And here we are with the updated race info. We are restarting on lap six. Only 13 cars remain, and the back wall was damaged due to the crash that happened earlier today. And it looks like the cars are now getting ready to start off, and we're off. Queen starting off with a very early lead. The cars are now going really fast down the front street. McQueen is building his lead, but Shrip the King Weathers and Chick Hicks are fast on their way, going into the first turn and now heading down the back stretch. The King is now on McQueen's tail, but McQueen is refusing to give it up as they're side by side. McQueen is not giving up that lead. Shrip the King Weathers and McQueen are really going at it. Maybe they are racetrack rivals, but it looks like Light McQueen is going to pit from my ping earlier. His team's going to have to work fast because we're on lap 9 out of 10. McQueen's out there and he's going to start off mid pack, but he's not too far away and he's able to get into third. Three way battle, old style. As we're on the final lap, the king is in the lead. McQueen to his inside. Chick blocks off McQueen and it's three way. And Chick hits the king and causes the big one up front. Oh my goodness, this is, this 
just horrible. All these cars crashed today, but one came out victorious. Look at this. This is so horrible. The racetrack has nearly been damaged up front. The king on his head. McQueen with his tongue out. Tires popped. Chick is just utterly destroyed under there. And so many cars. The other cars behind them had to stop and pray they did not get hit at all. This is really horrible. And in so many cars is today. This, this is just bad. So bad. Let's look at the instant replay. As we see, Chick hits the king in a few seconds. He hits the king, spins him out, runs into McQueen, and crashes through. Only cars coming through. But one came out victorious, and it's the number 51 of Ruby Easy Oaks. This is just utterly insane. I wonder, how did he do that? It's he tried the wall maneuver or something utterly profound, but we have the winner, Ruby Easy Oak, celebrating his win with his team, with everyone concerned about everyone's race. We even have our own Shannon Spokes down there with race winner Ruby Easy Oak to have an interview with him. Shannon, go. Thanks, Daryl. Shannon Spokes here with race winner Ruby Easy Oak. How do you feel on today's race, Mr. Oaks? To be honest with you, Shannon, I had no idea that I would be winning today. I started off in dead last. Can you believe it? Yes, I can, Mr. Oaks, because I just witnessed it. Would there be anything you would change about today? Of course, Shannon. I regret that so many cars got injured today, but I'm happy that I won and I will be celebrating. That's a very charismatic Ruby Oaks. Back to you, Bob and Daryl. And as we see, Mr. Oaks is very happy on his win today. Let's get down to the finishing results. First place is Ruby Easy Oaks, and second, Winford, Bradford, Rutherford. And now, the other cars that have came in is third place, Greg Candyman, and Shiny Wax's Darren Ludfoot. In fifth place, Aiken Axler. Even though he was involved in the crash, he had enough... He didn't take that much damage and was able to finish the race. And here's all the DNF racers, Lane McQueen, all the way down to James Cleaner. Very, very unfortunate. 